Okay, as you can see, it's a body clip video. Uh, difference is instead of a time lapse, this time I wanted to do real time. So you guys get a better feel for what it's like to do a full body trim on a gigantic 2,000 pound horse. A lot of hair. And there's Apollo. He honestly has the patience of Job, and I just about stepped on that cat. Jeez, get out of the way. Hey, Dad! It was the middle of the night, and so he was sleeping when I got there. He's a little confused. Oh, there I am. Hi. Did you do this? And yeah, he he did do mm. that. <laughs> That's the most painfully awkward thing, watching a horse stand up. It's so wrong looking. Like, really? That's so? You're designed to stand up, Rin? Doing a full body clip, uh, any clip actually, usually takes a couple of hours. So I need to be ready to keep him entertained because he'll start to get bored and start pawing at the ground and looking at me like, are we done yet? So I need to have treats, usually different kinds, some that he can chew on, some that are really tasty, I don't know. And then I'll have things like a cool wet rag. He really likes it when you wipe his nose down and his lips. Um, I don't know why, but he does like it. I'll give him scratches and sometimes just kind of give him a break from the noise and it's kind of like a giving a haircut to a toddler. The more he fights, the worse it's going to look. So just got to keep him happy. Because the bottom line is if he doesn't want to do something, you're not going to do it. start slow every time I turn on the clipper so he can hear the sound. I'll touch it against his skin so he can feel the vibration. But Apollo is pretty chill so it's not something that's overly stressful for him and I can usually just get right to work. So at this point, some of you might be thinking, no, don't cut his pretty coat, it's so beautiful. And it's true, I'm, I'm cutting it off. But it's really for his benefit. When he does a workout and he's got his winter coat on, he gets so sweaty and he's miserable. And afterwards, he just won't cool down. He'll stay wet for a really long time. This allows his body to breathe. It allows him to not get so overheated during the workout and he cools down much faster and I can put him back to bed. And I put a blanket on him so he's not cold. And also, it grows back. It grows back so fast, sometimes it almost doesn't even feel worth it for all the work it takes.
This angle is to show you just how much hair is coming off of him. It's funny because it doesn't look like he has a, a really thick coat at first. Like when you walk up to him, it's, it feels thin and smooth. But once you start cutting it off and it starts to fall onto the ground and the piles get bigger and bigger, he has so much hair. You'll notice I'm wearing uh, steel-toed boots. That's because even though he's very calm and very conscious, if ever he's not paying attention or I'm not paying attention and he steps on me, that's a very, very bad day. He just turned my feet into total blush. So I always wear steel-toed boots around him just for a little more protection. This part's probably my favorite to trim. It's really rewarding, his big round butt and the hair just comes off really easy. I always go against the grain so that it catches just right on the clippers and it'll just cut right through it. But it's always fun just because it's a really big change. It's crazy to see how light his coat is underneath. You'll notice as I'm cutting, I'm leaving a patch for the saddle. Basically, that's there to protect Apollo from the saddle. Just creates less friction and a little bit of padding. Sometimes short hair can be kind of um, pokey, sticky, and then it just rubs and irritates while you're riding. So you leave that patch just because it's a little more comfortable.
This isn't a full body shave. It's called a hunter clip. And the reason for that, and I'm about to get really technical here with some horse jargon, so brace yourselves. The hunter clip is for when you go hunting. <clears throat> uh, yeah. face right here is like, uh, careful back there.
This is a cool perspective for a few reasons. You can see the two lengths of, of coat, the trimmed, and then just the natural winter coat. Uh, one's light, one's dark, obviously. But <clears throat> also in the darker side, you can see his dapples. Every horse has dapples. Sometimes they're more prominent um, than others, but they all have them. It's just a sign of a, a healthy, happy horse. Um, dapples is um, Dutch for apples. And it's, it's because of the shape that the pattern has. It just kind of looks like little apple shapes all over them. And the other thing that's cool is how shiny his coat is. Um, the pre-trimmed coat. Horses have an oil um, in, in their skin and as you brush them, the more you brush them, you can have a horse that's really dirty. Within five minutes of brushing him, his coat will look glossy and shiny and bright. That's because as you brush the coat and move the bristles over the skin, it secretes the oil, which is a sunscreen and a protection for the horses and their coat gets beautiful and shiny and you can really see it well here and you can see how shiny it is and it really accentuates the, da the dapples as well which I think is just cool. And then I cut it all away and you can't see any of it. So I'm leaving all the hair on the legs, and there's a pretty simple answer for that. It's because I I don't want that to be cold. I want to keep all those joints and all those tendons and all those muscles warm. Uh, and it helps protect them from sticks and twigs and all that kind of stuff too. But the main reason is to just keep all the joints uh, warm when they need to be. You can compare it to a French poodle when they have their traditional really funny looking haircuts with like the pom-poms on the hips and stuff the, the, those are hunting dogs and they're designed to go in and out of the water or hunt in the winter and keep their joints warm and it's become a tradition to have those funny looking haircuts but they do serve a purpose same thing here
do this kind of in the middle of the night because because it's the barn gets really busy during the day and there's lots of lots of horses and there's lots of trainers and everyone's talking and chatty and it's a really friendly fun environment but it kind of takes away from me and Apollo time so when I go at night there's nobody there all the horses are asleep and all the trainers are at home it's the last place they want to be so it's just me and him and we kind of get to connect and sometimes I'll talk to him and sometimes I won't say anything and I'll just kind of be there but I love doing that kind of stuff at night because it's our own special time even though it's kind of crazy and maybe Apollo doesn't think it's as cool as I do because he was asleep and probably would have much rather stayed asleep <laughs> cutting his face and as soon as I walk around his back end he will fart in my face. This incredible intuitive flatulence ability and when your stomach is the size of a garbage bag it's like being in the eye of a rotten hurricane. some pattern or some cool design but I would 
probably just mess it up. So I just keep on trimming. This coat almost looks silver in this shot. It's really cool. It's really rewarding to watch it just come right off. Finally occurred to me to test how hot <laughs> the trimmer was and it was really hot. Made me feel bad. He's so stoic and uh, and just cool that he didn't complain once. But I could have been singeing his hairs and he and I wouldn't know it just because he he never complains. So I'm glad I checked. He's being so good. The last thing I want to do is cause him any pain.
At this point, he was getting pretty antsy. We'd been at it for a few hours. I was really tired. He was super tired. I'm trying to do all these stupid touch-ups and make it neat and tidy, and he was just like, done. And I can't say I blame him. decided enough was enough it looked good he was exhausted I was exhausted and it was time to be done he was so good and such a good boy like always and I didn't want to torture him anymore he was gonna be much happier for the next workout session and not overheat so it was worth Okay, there was so much hair by the time I was done. I'd already filled up maybe half of the garbage can before I decided to video it. So much hair literally filled up the whole thing. Yeah. And it was heavy too. Like it wasn't just uh, fluffy, it was dense. I put him out in the uh, arena while I cleaned up and he did not want anything to do with me. He's looking at me like, you did this to me and I'm freezing. Normally he comes over and he greets me and he always just kind of wanted to stand right by me, but he was pissed. <laughs> His face is like, don't talk to me. I'm curious what Apollo will do if I don't put a halter on him and I just tell him to come with me back to his stall. So, hey, come here. No, this way. Come this way. Come this way. 